you've ever seen. His hide littered with the weapons of fallen warriors, his face scarred with one dead eye. I drew my sword. And... Rush! One swipe, his sword shattered, then chop! Dad's leg was clean off. Down the monster's throat it went. Oh, that's my favourite part. Mordu has never been seen since. And is roaming the wilds, waiting his chance of revenge. Let him return. I'll finish what I guddled in the first place. Edda, a princess does not place her weapons on the table. Mom! Hi, I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what's happening at the movies. And there's a movie out right now called Brave. And it's about a Scottish princess, and we have our own Scottish princess here today, <laughs> Kelly McDonald. Hello. Who is playing this. Now, can you just transform yourself now into an animated character for me? I wish it was me on that screen. They, they've made me look really good. <laughs> I wish I could do it. I wish I'd made any of those choices myself. Well, tell us a little bit about who Merida is. Um, Merida, well, like you said, she's a Scottish medieval mm -hmm. princess, but she's kind of like the anti-princess. The princess thing isn't that important in her life. And, um, and uh, she's a very happy girl, very outdoorsy, adventurous, um, and just doing her thing. And then her mother um, sideswipes her with this information that she's going to have to get married and, and take, take on some adult responsibilities soon. And she's just not, she's not ready. So she fights it tooth and nail. Well, she should fight it, even though the voice of the mm. mother, Eleanor, is Emma Thompson, mm. who I would obey no matter what. No, she's, absolutely. You, know? you do what Emma tells you. <laughs> you you kind of do, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to give away too much about what happens in this movie, but there is a dramatic little difference between mm -hmm. mother and daughter yeah. in this movie. Yeah. And things that you wish. Uh -uh. Yeah, you have to be careful what you wish for, really. Well, there's a moment, I think, when Merida says to her mother, I'd rather die than be like you. Yeah, it's brutal. She says some, and you know, she's a teenager. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's, she's kind of a typical teenage girl. She's just obnoxious and horrible, and this isn't fair, and, you know, tantrums. And, um, and also, but her mother also, um, they're just in completely different wavelengths. And so th the story is really a mother and daughter story and it's about them trying to come together yeah in the end. and then but i'm looking at you and i'm thinking yeah. well she's what how old is she in the movie is she like she's a teen i don't teenage, know teenage maybe 15 14 15. well i think she's meant to be about 16 17. because she they want to marry her off and yeah. we just don't want to get really ugly about <laughs> what that is no we don't want to do it no. but what about you what about you are Kelly you asking McDonald? what age i am not at that's all. so rude i would <laughs> never do it you could storm off now if you wanted to and say, no, show us yeah, this. It, no, I'm asking about you when you were Merida's age. Mm -hmm. Look, it's not medieval times that you're born. You're living, yeah. you still were born in Glasgow. You, you come from this. What were you like to your mom? I, I mean, I think... You were trouble. I, I'm looking at you and I, <laughs> I really know I really wasn't. I was a good girl. I was no, a really good girl. No, why would they have chosen you? There's something that they saw in you that I'm seeing here and so is everyone out there. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is a new thing then. Maybe in my 30s I'm, I'm rebelling suddenly. But um, I was a good girl and um, I didn't really have anything to rebel against. And I think the thing is, <clears throat> like everybody nowadays, in Mer Mer every girl, teenage girl in Merida's position, position would totally rebel and be horrified at the thought of having to choose from one of three men, you know, uh, with no love involved. And really? There's whole television reality shows that we have here oh, really? based on, <laughs> I don't watch based them, on I don't girls know. choosing between three. Oh, it's horrible. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes exists. me very sad. Mm -hmm. But um, it would have been a dilemma at that time, I'm sure, for, for a young woman. But not as much as it would be now. No, now it would no. be. It would so she's 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 reactive. She's she's definitely, um, she she wants to, you know, live her own life. But she's pretty handy with the bow and arrow. She's very handy with the bow she's and arrow. She's now another <laughs> reason. I'm not a teenager and I'm uh -huh. not handy with a bow and arrow. So if it was live action, I would have been in terrible trouble. If you were a really dedicated actor, mm -hmm. I think you would have learned archery skills before you stood in that voice you know, booth. Do you and have did a that. point? We always hear stories about when voice work is being done for an animated movie, that you're all by your lonesome. Yeah. I wasn't totally on my own, but yeah, I, I, there was no other actor. I didn't, I'm used to, you know, 
a lot a lot of acting is reacting, mm -hmm. you know, to the person that you're in a scene with, and and um, so I didn't I didn't have an actor to do that with, but I did have the director Mark Andrews, who was I don't know if you've ever met him, but he's he's got so much energy, and he was amazing to be in a room with because it really helped. What's you know, he, he was painting the picture for me. I love to imagine this idea yeah. where you're saying these lines, and he, what's he saying? More, more energy. I need yeah, this. Yeah, sometimes what is he more energy. Um, you know, he just would would um, set the scene for me, and mm -hmm. and then I and then I would have a minute to just sort of, you know, get to the place in my head that I I kind of could picture vaguely, and then I would read with him or the co-director Steve Purcell. They were they were always sitting at a desk in front of me, so. <laughs> yeah. It just seems wrong. It seems like it's always an audition. You know, yeah. rather than you're actually No, doing I never it. felt like it was always an addition. It was so fun. It was really, it was a real challenge for me to, because it's, it's a different kind of acting. Mm -hmm. when, when you're totally reliant on your voice and that's it, you can't emote through your facial expressions. I mean, I did mm -hmm. and it was, you know, caught on camera and you can sort of see, I can recognize some facial expressions that Merida makes and, you know, frowns mostly. Um, you know they did they did use some of that but it's very it's it, it's like a it's like using a different muscle but what was the most difficult thing about doing this the most difficult thing was um just the the strain on your voice it's like you would do i would do four hour sessions um you know i was working on boardwalk and then some weekends i would go in a saturday and sunday and do four hours it's two things at the same time yeah and um and it was great though, because they could come to me wherever I was. Like they came to New York, if I was in New York, they came to Glasgow when I was there. Um, God, they sound like they're stalking you. I know, they, <laughs> well they need to get it done. We need more. <laughs> no, you can't go on vacation. No, <laughs> but yeah, they actually, if I went on v vacation, they would probably turn up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the most difficult thing was just, just um, I, you know, I, I'm quite a subtle performer and that's, that's kind of what I do mostly. And I don't, I, that's what I get cast for, mm -hmm. really. And so to be cast in a, a part that's just, she's not subtle, she's loud, she's obnoxious, she's cheeky, she's fun. Um, and so to do, to do, to be cast in a role like that and for it to just be voice, mm -hmm. and in an animation, everything has to be times 100. You can, like even a breath is, really, you feel like you're doing it too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's. It's a lot, so. Has it changed you? Have you just gone into your life now, just doing everything with? And uh, I'm not. No, I'm not louder. What? I'm not louder. <laughs> uh, I'm not. But I, I feel like it has changed me. I, I feel like I've. Um, it was a bit like I never went to drama school, and I feel like, I don't know. I just feel better for it. I feel like I'm a better actress for it because it's. I had to step outside the box slightly and do things that I wouldn't normally do. People do a little bit of a song that means something to them. It could be trap. What do you mean they do a little bit? They sing just a no. little bit of it. Are you oh, kidding? Come on, no. no. Everybody does it. 